So I'm here with my boats. Um, this is just a little kayak, old style plastic. And that there, it's a 12 foot six inch bass boat, Bassmaster Pro. It's really nice, you can put an engine on it. I got all five engines for it, including an air motor, a bunch of gas engines and an electric motor for it too. High power uh, trolling motor. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm talking about a game changing technology that I've invented. Um, it's got huge potential to be start a huge company doing it you could make and what it is is it's a way to make boats it's a lot different than anything you've ever heard and what it is um, I'm gonna post some videos later to, to kind of explain how it works and uh, I'll put some captions on there to explain it thoroughly but basically what I want to build are concrete boats I know it sounds crazy but it's all based on a substance that's fairly new it's been around in the building industry for like 40 years it's called aircrete now the new modern way to make it aircrete is basically you create a foam and you mix it with cement um, and it creates a super hard super strong um, type of cement which is much lighter it's about two-thirds lighter so a bag goes two-thirds farther two-thirds farther but uh, you can make it all different consistencies and mixes, but um, basically you want to do the one that's about half and half to two thirds uh, foam versus concrete. And uh, you mix it together in a bucket, it's real simple. You make your normal concrete in one bucket, the other bucket you add the foam, uh, you mix it up, and then you put it in what's known as a concrete sprayer, which I'll show a video of. Um, and you take the inner hull of a boat, any boat, and you could even dig a hole in the ground in the third world. But uh, the invention's not complicated. You basically spray the inner hull of the boat until it's coated about two inches thick, maybe two and a half inches thick. And uh, then when you're done, you allow it to cure, and it's gonna take the shape, it's gonna be smooth like the hull. It's gonna be the exact same shape and size of the old boat. You basically copied it. Now what you do is they have these indestructible sprays. Um, they're almost like spraying bed liner for your truck. You spray that over um, the smooth inside of the boat and uh, that you just sprayed the concrete into. And that coats that concrete with an indestructible layer of plastic. And then what you do is you remove the concrete mold from the boat, the concrete boat and you spray it on the uh, smooth hull side, which is now taking the exact form of the outside of the boat. And what you're left with is a super strong boat that basically lasts forever. Now this Aerocrete floats. Um, in my video I'll show that this stuff doesn't take water on. It can, uh, if you hold it underwater forcefully after eight hours, there's only a little water intrusion. So it's essentially the most perfect substance because imagine a boat two inches thick it wouldn't weigh much more than uh, these plastic boats it'd be a little heavier but it'd be much more durable it'd last a lifetime um, the plastic you could always reapply the plastic coating on the outside but that wouldn't really be necessary with the quality of the stuff so I mean you could take take it out and essentially be ten times harder than any plastic boat because it have this plastic on it these, this is a plastic boat and so is the other one, they're not fiberglass, but that's essentially what you'd be left with, but with a solid concrete core for strength, so you could run into, a, let's for example, a, a, a stump or anything in the river and uh, going at high speed with an engine and you'd be good to go. you just bounce off of it and wouldn't cause any damage. You could go into high waves, the strength and rigidity of that aerocrete allow you to bust through any ways um, and be strong and durable and last for a lifetime so yeah that's the invention I'll look for more I'm gonna make some prototypes of it but uh, just look for the following links to kind of get an idea of the technologies I'm talking about and how simple this really is concrete AAC blocks are new age green building material that is easy to handle compared to red clay bricks Though larger in dimension, 
the blocks are light and come in various sizes. The porous nature of AAC blocks make them light. Whereas fly ash bricks and red clay bricks can be seen to sink, an AAC block, when immersed in water, floats up magically. Bricks have to be placed on the block to keep it immersed in water. After six hours, water seeps inside the two bricks, which can be clearly seen when cut into two. This makes the red clay and fly ash bricks heavier during curing. When taken out after six hours and cut, one can visibly see that the core of the AAC block is still dry. Hey guys, check out this foam mate. I designed this to make aerated concrete or aircrete. What it is, is a foam generator. I mean, that's just like shaving cream. And the best part is, it only costs like 25 or 30 bucks to make. And all the materials to make it are just common building materials, easily accessible at Home Depot. And it is absolutely crazy. It works awesome. Okay. So now uh, we're going to make a concrete brick out of uh, aircrete. I let it cure in the molds and kept it moist and wet and covered for about 24 hours and then I took it out of the mold and let it cure. Uh, but you know just in the defense of aircrete, typically concrete takes at least 28 days to gain its full strength. Even after 7 days it only has about 40%. These have only been curing for a couple of days. But look at all the little teeny microscopic cells and air bubbles in there. I mean, check this stuff out. It's incredible. I say it's going to be the building, um, that it's going to be the building material of the future. And I kind of believe it because it's light, it has insulative value, and if you spray the right coatings on the outside, its structural strength is really intense. And I guess it's uh, impervious to uh, flame as well. I, I don't think you'd ever have to worry about this being any type of a fire hazard, I'll tell you that much. Look. Okay, feel, are you feeling any heat to your fingers? No, it's the insulative value. It does not absorb any heat at all. It is crazy. Look, it's getting red hot right now. Can you see the redness, babe? And we're in broad daylight. I, I can't feel any heat. It's still cool to the touch on the other side. 